So Kayla Clark is a, a collegiate women's basketball player uh, from the University of Iowa. Uh, and we've been talking a lot about a little bit about the WNBA, NBA wage gap, pay demands, all these things. Uh, but if you don't follow collegiate athletics, uh, this, this, this woman, Kayla Clark, was a senior this year. She's balling out of control, as the people say. And the thing is, people are watching. So if you, if you, you may not know this, but the WNBA, the biggest thing that holds them back is that people don't watch the game. People don't watch the game. Yeah, at least not, not at the same scale that they watch the NBA. Correct. And so I, I can generalize it by saying people don't watch it because we're talking multiples times the viewership, multiples times the revenue, right? Six billion versus... Uh, 60. 60. It's 10 billion in the NBA, 60 million in the WNBA. There we go. Wise. And so from, as entrepreneurs, one of the things we have to think about is like our product and the consumer. And so she's trending right now. She has been for the last couple of years because she's lightened up the scoreboard. She's a baller. She's, she just set the record for all time scoring in, in collegiate here, history, like male or female. But I was just doing some digging on like, well, how many people watch her games? 1.7 million people and her average is around like 1.4 on these big games when she's having record breaking attempts and, and things like that. But the significance of it is this, the highest, the most watched WNBA regular season game of all time is from 2004, 1.4 million people watched it. Wow. That was how many years ago? 20, <laughs> 20. And we have on a Sunday afternoon, Saturday afternoon in college, 1.4 million people tuning in. And so the WNBA has to ask itself this question, which is how can we improve our product in order to get consumers? Well, you're looking at it in a girl like Clay, Caitlin Clark, but what is it that she does differently? Well, she plays the game with confidence. She plays the game at a high level. She has something that appeals to the average viewer and saying the quiet part out loud, most people in the WNBA circle, don't want to say it because she's white, <laughs> that she might be helpful to the game. <laughs> you know, we don't want a white girl to get the credit. But the truth is, you should want the best basketball player in college basketball to get the credit. And uh, so I think, it, I think it's also a testament. So I grew up as a skateboarder. And the tricks that we were doing as kids at like 13, 14 I now see, you know, 10, 12, 13 year old girls out skating right. boys mm -hmm. during that era. So I think we're also just achieve, seeing that this is what we've talked about previously is like in its life cycle as a business, the WNBA is very young, right? It's been around for 20 years where the NBA has been around since like 1946. Right. So this next, the next generations that are coming up are becoming more skilled. They're playing, they're starting sooner. They're seeing like, wow, I can play like that from a very young age, which is not something that was normal right. 20 years ago. And so it takes about that long to really start to see that shift happen. Um, so she's really good for the sport. She's in that really sense. good for the sport. There's other people. There's one girl, uh, Southern Cal, Juju Watkins, I believe that's her name. She's a baller. Yeah. And where she, like, where'd she play? She plays at some USC. USC. Okay. Um, but the, the point is like, as entrepreneurs, we have to, okay, the market's telling me they don't like my product. Right. I need to fix my product. Well, how do I fix it? I update it. I change it. I innovate it. I bring in new people to contribute to my organization, the Juju Watkins, the Caitlin Clarks of the world. There's a, there's a few people over the last several years that are ballers, but you need to set these people loose, change the structure of your game a little bit so that it becomes a better product, a better viewing experience. And that's why 1.4 million people are watching because- She's shooting the ball from 30 feet. Yep. That's interesting. I want to see if she could do that. So basic, it's, basic, it's basic principles of business. Don't stray from the basic principles that will make you successful. That's the message. Whether it's your country, whether it's your business, whether it's your family.